Hey guys, Bronze Age Nerd here. I got a Comics Elite Juggernaut number one mystery box, and I wanted to go ahead and open it up for you guys, and we can all see what I got together. Let's check it out. All right, YouTube, so let's see what's inside this mystery box. As you can see, it's the Comics Elite Juggernaut number one mystery bonus variant box. Uh, we can see what's inside here. Okay, set that aside. We've got a couple comics that are clearly visible off the go here. Uh, looks like they threw in some bonus comics. we got Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons, number one. And we got, looks like some Jamie Tyndall uh, female Snake Eyes bonus action here. Some kind of virgin variant. I'm not sure which issue this is. And we got the main event here. All right, that was proven pretty stubborn, so I got the knife. Now there, some cool juggernaut action. And looks like we got a Suicide Squad, number one. X-Force number two variant edition. And uh, Black Cat number one variant. I want to say, I want to say it's Andolfo. Not really sure. So that's pretty cool. Kind of line everything up here. We got that Black Cat. Got that awesome X Force Wolverine. Uh, we got the Suicide Squad there. And we got the Juggernaut, which is of course, and then a couple of the. Uh, the bonus books. So let's take a look at what we got. Uh, Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons number one. Uh, it was found, kind of interesting. I found out this was written by Patrick Rothfuss, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of his books. I wish he'd keep writing them, but whatever. Um, didn't expect to get this in a million years, so that's that's a cool surprise. Um, next up, we had the Jamie Tyndall Snake Eyes variant. Um, Pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of this particular interpretation of the character, but I love Jamie Tyndall's art, and this is a very cool cover. It's for Snake Eyes Dead Game number one, and I really dig it. Um, yeah, big fan. I think that this was a, a cool pickup. I didn't expect to get this one either. This is a Nathan Zerdy Suicide Squad cover, and it's pretty cool. I, I Unfortunately, I already have the pink minimal trade dress background i don't think it's a virgin but maybe it is um it's a cooler cover it's the same thing you just get to highlight the front two characters instead of all the characters in the background um but it is a cool cover kind of fun to get this one too so that was interesting this black cat number one now this is by Mirka and Dolfo. The funny thing is I actually ordered this comic already. It's on sale for like $1.50 on Comic Sleep's website. So I have this coming in a future order. It takes the winds out of the sales a little bit for this one, but it is a cool cover. I really like this interpretation of Black Hat. Uh, similar thing with this X-Force. It's on sale right now on their website for a pretty good price, but I didn't order this one. Um, it is a cool Wolverine being fastball special through some Sentinels cover, so... You gotta appreciate that. It's a, it's a fantastic cover. Good inclusion in this particular box. Uh, 
and of course this is the star of the show this is the the comic that i picked up the whole box for that i knew i was going to get it's a fantastic amazing spider-man 300 homage um I, i'm a little concerned about the white cover and if i go to get it graded whether or not i'll get like a 9.8 or not but it's a fantastic cover it's really just a fun classic juggernaut smashing through something cover which i really appreciate uh, this is definitely, you know, what I came to this box for, and everything else was basically, as far as I'm concerned, just kind of a freebie thrown in. Um, this was limited to a thousand, I want to say. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of, uh, a little bit of humor in it with the <laughs> Venom being thrown in the background. Um, and it's just, it's just a fun cover, so that's a, that's a great one to have in the collection. Overall, I was fine with this box. I wasn't blown away. Um, I think in that Snake Eyes cover was pretty cool, actually, because I'm a G.I. Joe fan. I uh, didn't expect that. It was kind of cool to get that Rick and Morty. And those are both the bonus comics. That's the funniest thing about this, is the two bonus comics actually became the ones I cared about the most, um, besides the Juggernaut cover, which is kind of funny. Um, I do have their Truth box coming, too, so I'll have another Mystery Box from Comics Elite soon. Um... I don't know if those bonus items were something that everybody got in their boxes or if only some some winners, quote-unquote, got them, um, some random people. Uh, but I do appreciate those. I think that was a pretty sweet, you know, it's a good amount of comics to what I paid for it um, ratio. So I thought that was pretty cool. So in conclusion, I give this box a thumbs up. It did what I wanted it to do. It didn't wow me, but... I'm, pr I'm a pretty critical person by nature anyway. Um, I, I didn't have a lot of problems with this box. I didn't have a lot of things that blew me away. But it still overall left a positive taste in my mouth, and that's that's a good thing. Mystery boxes are always a little... Um, not scary, but they're always, you're always a little apprehensive, because what if you end up with a dud? And this one wasn't, so had that going for it. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing that next box. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And just remember, hey, 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 read comics every day. See you later, guys.